Hello everyone, my name is Justice, and I'm coming at you with another reading. This is going to be for the sign of Leo. We have here the King of Swords to the Nine of Coins. Immediately, someone's father is sending you to the King of Cups. Your person could be a Scorpio rising. Your person could be a Cancer rising or a Pisces rising. They could have a Gemini sun. And their father could be a Leo as well. Uh, they're coming at you with this extremely aggressive, like, uh, energy. They're calling you, like, bitch made and a whole bunch of other things. Super nasty comments being said about you on, like, a daily basis is what I'm getting from this. We have here the Seven of Coins. To the Moon. To the Ten of Coins. So Spirit is giving you a big congratulation on, like, the stillness and judgment skills you've been making as of recently when it comes to your physical reality. It's like there's been a lot of, like, spiritual warfare being sent your way, so you've been doing very well to kind of just see through the bullshit. Look at the mistakes that other people are making within themselves and focusing on all the fruition and abundance that Spirit has been blessing you with recently. You could be trying to be... You could be trying to manifest more into your life but taking a moment to be still and appreciate what you have already been receiving is going to allow this abundance to overflow and find you a little bit easier. To be like the water, you need to not push through the rock, but move your way around it. And this can take a little bit longer than it looks, because taking the time to break down the rock is just a little bit too difficult, if that makes sense. Ace of Cups to the tower yeah i was about to say there's a big like i'm feeling like a big lack of like spiritual energy and enthusiasm from you reader to the star and spirit is like praying that you start believing in your blessings again uh you're like a shapeshifter you know it's like different people see you moving through different timelines like very fast very steadily and you're a big inspiration within the community people look up to you and Spirit wants you to be reminded of this, so you're not slacking too much. We have here the Nectar. And a Gate. To the Ring. To the Eternal Child. To the creator so you have definitely been going through this energy where it's like all the pieces are in a line and god is just going to start finishing the rest for you you just have to be present and keep playing the game uh pisces could be important for you it was just 314 You could have an old Pisces friend that's thinking about you currently. They think they want to get back together and have like a reunion with you. This is possible between the two of you. You have Sagittarius and the moon coming out as well. Well as uh, Scorpio, Sun. With the Seven of Pentacles. This is a reassurance that whatever love situations, maybe you were dating a Pisces in the past. Your person has like Pisces like features or like. That you're just like a very dreamy, gorgeous, like, ooh, person when you look at them. And you guys are going to be back together. It's just going to take, like, a lot of patience within the process. So we're just saying, like, you guys are going to get, like, married for sure. They're Leo. And whatever heartbreak and, like, injustices done to you within the physical realm were all coming from, like, the mind when you guys were fighting with each other. Nothing was really done from a place of emotions. It was like the heart had one big feeling where the mind had uh, more beliefs that uh, it was in complete balance when it was pretty off-centered. And it took a lot of time for you guys to mend the relationship and the metaphysical, but you guys are both kind of thinking to each other, is it still fair? Is there anything else I need to say before you let go? Your egos are kind of having like this discussion right now. 
Uh, you're made to build, like, a big empire with this person. With the four the pentacles. So the queen of swords there. You guys could currently find yourselves feeling like you're in this five of pentacles energy, even though you are technically at your ten of pentacles for the time being. Maybe you've spent, like, half your money on, like, different, like, down payments or mortgages, these kind of things. Or maybe you could have bought, like, a new car and a new wardrobe. What else do we have for Leo Spirit? We have here the Eight of Swords. I'm not liking this energy already. So someone's been like backstabbing, portraying you at work. They've been like gossiping about it. You could have recently heard the rumors and like, uh, oh, it's like detrimental information that you've recently gotten. And it came from like someone trustworthy. So if you're worried about, is this person innocent too? Or were they playing in on the gossiping? No, they are a trustworthy person with the Ace of Pentacles coming out here. Uh, anything else, Spirit? We have the Knight of Wands with the Sun, Mars, and Leo and Aries. So you've been moving around a lot physically. You could be like pretty drained. You could have done like a lot of new workouts or like you just joined a new gym. Uh, the sun is coming out here. So yeah, Leo, you're just like uh, looking really big in Spirit's eyes with the sun c coming out again and Aries with the three of wands. You guys just like, uh, <laughs> you guys just don't know how to quit. <laughs> Everything you do is good. And it's coming to uh, romantic interests there are like religious beliefs coming in that are really important that spirit is working on for you. Uh, there's big questions on like uh, how much money will you guys have when you're together, and it'll be substantial for sure. You guys are definitely going to be a power couple. Have plenty of power when it comes to finances and spiritual gifts as well. You know, they shine just as bright as you, Leo. I read the strength. You guys are coming out again. So this is about to do a little U-turn and talk about karmic experiences from past lives that you guys have had together. So you guys started off in a small neighborhood together. You could have lived like down south in the USA, and you were born with one of your one of you was born with one of your parents dead in the past life. Six is a very important number and Pluto's coming out here with judgment and Scorpio in the underground world uh, you can have like a chestnut head or chestnut hair or like brown eyes and like uh, strong eyebrows and like uh, very round ears you could be a Virgo with the hermit here or you could work with like a chain of computers you could be like a hacker or something like this. The date of someone's grandmother is very significant. The numbers of it. The numbers 7, 16 are significant. Okay. We have here the Emperor to the Three of Cups to the Seven of Swords to the Knight of Cups. So about three months ago, you found yourself dating this person who was completely ignorant. Uh, 
they were like shadow working with objects and like they could have like left them in your car or at your house and like their energy is like kind of still around you it's kind of like freaking you out and you're being asked to move those things like any old baggage from old people or just like dirt dust in your cars uh definitely distrust these energies they're not very noteworthy they're looking for like information on you this is like a coven of people who just like to like gossip and slander people's names in the tarot community the page of swords there you have uh capricorn gemini so the information is they're looking at you kind of like you're a cyborg the two of pentacles here they think that they can just like uh i don't know they want to like just dehumanize you completely Can we clarify about this? You have the Four of Wands, to the Seven of Pentacles, to the Justice. Uh, there's like no bounds being made within this connection and you're like the arc of this connection where you're realizing that they are karmic from a past life and you don't need anything to do with them anymore. Spirit is saying the longer you stick around them because you are like uh, whoever this Libra person is, they just, like, know, like, their way around you. I'm picking up as a woman figure. It could be, like, your mother or, like, someone else's mother. They could also be a Gemini. And, uh, their Saturn placement could be in Gemini also. It could be significant. Also, uh, yeah, very heavy Saturn. You also have Leo coming out with Pisces. So you could have, uh, with the Knight of Cups to the Seven of Pentacles to Justice, you could have, like, told Spirit, like, hey, like, I think this person is awesome, and then you found out they were, like, slandering your name behind your back, kind of, like, manipulating you, looking for different avenues to, like, uh, use you for money. The bots, they could have, like, tried to call the cops on you, send you to jail, this mother figure. You guys could have gotten into physical altercations in the past. You also have the king, so you were feeling, well, like yourself, Leo, you know what I mean? You are the father, you radiate with divine masculine energy, and you are the starborn dragon egg. Wow, that's gorgeous. Came out, uh, numbers two could be.